welcome back to Hale's World and I have 10 sweet tips, tricks and hidden features on the iPhone 13 like turning photos to videos, background sounds, moving your home screen around and of course some new banging iOS 15 features. Also make sure you stay until the end because I have some Apple gift cards to give to some of my lucky subscribers. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, this is a really cool drag and drop feature that you can do within Safari. Let's just say you head on over to Google and search for something like iPhone wallpapers. Of course, there are a bunch of cool options. So let's just say you wanted to save a couple of them to your photo gallery. Well, what you can do is click and hold down on the image, then slightly move it out the way. So you can now go ahead and tap on other wallpapers. And as you can see, it makes this little image stack. What you can then do is swipe up to the home screen, open up the photos application, and simply drop those images and they'll all save straight into your photo gallery. I mean, talk about convenience. I will admit they don't save in the highest quality, but nonetheless, what you can also do is click and hold down on one of these gallery images, then move out the way, select a couple more, just like you did previously, scroll up to the home screen, except this time, if you click on messages and drop, the pictures go straight into the message bar and then you can just press send. So definitely try this one out for yourself. It is so nifty. So one of the coolest things you can do on the iPhone 13 using iOS 15 is you can turn some of your pictures into videos. And let me show you how it's done. If you head into the photos application and click on albums, then scroll down, you will see the live photos album, which of course, these are all your live photos, which as you may know, only play if you click and hold down. But if you click on the share button, then scroll down a bit, you will see the option that says save as video. And of course, if you tap on that, it'll save this live photo as a three second video clip and you'll be amazed at just how much a live photo actually captures. So if you think about it, you can now take a whole bunch of your pictures and turn them into these like little memories, share them with your friends and family. I mean, that's pretty cool. Now, some of you guys may already know there's some cool things you can do with your home screens. For example, if you click and hold down, then tap on these dots, you can choose to disable some of these screens just by clicking on those little tick boxes. So when you go back home, you'll only have your main screen and then the app library. The nice thing about that is you can choose to go back, then reactivate those screens if you want, or you can completely remove the screens just by clicking that little minus icon, slapping that remove button, and just like that, they're gone. So there really is a lot you could already do but now if you head back into that screen section you can actually choose to reposition your screens it's literally as simple as dragging and dropping so whether you want your most important screen at the end or in the middle it's totally up to you so definitely check this out and maybe look at organizing your screens Okay, now check this out. I had no idea this even existed, but did you know you can get your iPhone 13 to play some super calming background noises that apparently help you focus? So yeah, I thought this one was so cool. And what you do is under settings, select control center, then scroll down and make sure you enable hearing. Once that is done, you can then go back to the home screen or wherever you want. But now if you scroll down on the control center and click that hearing icon, then tap background sounds, it instantly starts playing an ocean sound or one of the other sounds you've selected like bright noise, rain or stream. You can also adjust the volume right there. And honestly, this is amazing for studying and a whole lot of other things. So so I actually love using this just before I go to bed. I find it so satisfying. And by the way, hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 1 million. And if you subbed, I would just be like, Damn! So this next feature is exclusive to the iPhone 13 range and it is called photographic styles. So when you first open the camera app on the iPhone 13, you'll see this splash screen that explains photographic styles. It's kind of like having a filter before you take the picture, but it does still scan your surroundings to make the best adjustments. Straight away, you can choose your favorite style or you can go back later by clicking on this icon and choosing your favorite one here. There are five different options in total to choose from and they really are quite different from one another. You can also adjust the tone of each filter as well as the warmth. So whether you prefer a warmer look or a cooler look, something with rich contrast or a lot of saturation, it's totally up to you. So definitely explore these different styles and start with your favorite one. 
So now, cinematic mode is another exclusive feature to the iPhone 13 range, and even though it doesn't record in the highest video quality, it's still pretty wild. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was super impressed with cinematic mode. Once you toggle to the mode, it explains how it works. You can then click continue, and on the top left-hand side, you'll see this little icon. If you tap on that, here's where you can adjust the background blur. So whether you want it super blurry or not, you decide. But then, once you click record, you can see the camera automatically does focus transitions without you even having to touch the screen. It tracks the subjects and decides when is the best time to make those transitions. And thanks to the shallow depth of field, it looks so cinematic. So of course, this is a really cool mode, but you can even take things another step further and edit the focus after you've taken the video. So if you click on the edit button, right towards the bottom here, you'll see all the key moments of when the focus shifted. But if you wanna change any of those key moments, you literally just tap on the other person and all the focus changes. You can also still edit things further by using this right-hand side toolbar. So if you've ever wanted to dabble in cinematic style videos, the great thing is now you can. Then we have got to talk about the battery life because luckily the iPhone 13 has had a huge improvement. Even though it lasts 2.5 hours longer than the iPhone 12, there are still some things you can do in settings to make it last even longer. So under battery, you'll see this option that says battery health. And if you tap on that, make sure to toggle on optimized battery charging. Then what you can do is head into the auto brightness settings, scroll right down to the bottom and make sure this is toggled on. If you don't see this option straight away, then chances are it's probably already on. And finally, don't forget if you scroll down on the control center and tap this battery icon, it puts your phone in low power mode to save the most amount of juice. You also still get the convenience of MagSafe charging and nothing has changed there. So if you've always enjoyed the MagSafe feature, you still can. And this is another seriously convenient feature that I find myself using all the time. Let's just say you take a screenshot and then open that up. Towards the bottom right hand corner, you'll see this little text icon. And if you click on that, it automatically picks up all the text within your picture, which you can then go ahead, select pieces of it or all the text, press the copy button, and then scroll up to your emails, messages, or notes application and paste the text you just took from a picture. So here's another really cool thing you can do on the iPhone 13. If you open up the notes application and then tap on the screen, you'll see this little text icon appear. Then if you tap on that, it opens up the camera and now you can literally scan text straight into the notes application just like that. I mean, that is pretty damn cool. Now here's a really quick and nifty tip you can do with Siri. Let's just say you wanna share this picture with a friend. It's really easy, cause all you do is say, hey Siri, share this with Mike. Send this photo to Mike. She'll get it ready and then you just say send. Okay, it's sent. I mean, how easy is that? So with this feature, you can kind of start predicting the weather and let me show you how. If you open up the weather application and select this little icon, right at the top, you'll see these little dots. And if you tap on those, you'll see the notification option. Tap on that and then set my location to on. Now, anytime there is forecasted rain in your area, you'll receive a notification. Then if your iPhone is unlocked, of course, you can just swipe down and access the search bar straight away and start searching for whatever it is you want. But did you know if your iPhone is locked, you can still swipe down and the search bar will appear. You can then search for whatever it is you'd like, but only when it sees your face will it unlock important information, pictures, or even contacts. Okay, then the search bar within Safari is right at the bottom of the screen now, which I kind of prefer. But if you don't, you just click that little A icon, then tap show top address bar and it'll pop to the top of the screen. If you want to change it back, you just do the exact same action. So guys, I'm giving away some Apple gift cards to some of my lucky subscribers. And with these gift cards, you can download a bunch of apps, games, music, movies, and even TV shows. So to try and win one of these, all you have to do is try out some of these codes. Yeah. Also, make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see some more tips on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone 13 mini. But if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!